My name is Jennifer Schallberger and I am a senior at Ball State University studying visual arts education. And I am so excited to introduce you to the School of Art today. Let's start in the Arts and Journalism building, also known as AJ. This building was built for the School of Art in 2001 and has over 57,000 square feet for instructional space. The AJ building was built in close partnership with the faculty and this partnership allowed for each of the spaces to be customized for the functional type of art created in each of the studios. The first floor is where our 3D art areas are located. This includes ceramics, sculpture, metals, and our 3D foundation studio. Our students get to work hands-on with hand-building clay, throwing, designing jewelry, steel fabrication, and small to large-scale sculpture. The Art and Journalism building is also where you can find the atrium, Reiner Gallery, and our university bookstore. Here on the second floor of AJ is where our art history, photography, art education, and animation areas are. There are two computer labs for animation with state-of-the-art Dell workstations for students to work in animation for film, television, video games, and motion graphics. Our photography area has three dark rooms for traditional wet photography, one Mac advanced computer lab for digital photography that houses six large-scale printers. Our art education studio is multifunctional, not only for teaching students to become teachers, but also for instructing art to community children. The third floor has our visual communications and intermedia major areas. The advanced computer lab for intermedia has a blend of Mac and PC computers that allow for students to address artwork in the realms of video, installation, interactive art, and augmented reality, and virtual reality. The four studios for visual communications area have three computer labs and flat space for students to work collaboratively on pre-professional community projects through typography, digital design, web design, and traditional print design. Drawing, painting, printmaking, and our 2D foundation studios are housed on our fourth floor. Students get to experiment in a wide range of media and techniques as they hone their skills in conceptual development. Students will get experience in using pencils, charcoal, oils, watercolor, inks, digital, experimental mark making, and more techniques. And now we will cross the street over to our graphic arts management area, which is housed in the Advanced Technology Building. The AT building was renovated in 2014 and has over 4,500 square feet of space for our majors and minors to learn about today's professional printing processes and business model from screen printing t-shirts to professional commercial printing. The Maryland K. Glick Center for Glass is a premier glass facility that was generously funded by the Glick Fund. In the 9,254 total square feet, our students get to try glass blowing and casting in the hot shop, and then cold working, fusing, and neon in the cold shop. Finally, I've really enjoyed showing you the facilities in the School of Art here at Ball State University. I've really enjoyed my time here, and I love Ball State University. I know you will too. Thank you for watching. My name is Lauren Heilman and I'm a freshman music education major with the Horn Studio here at Ball State. We're going to show you around the school of music today. We're going to start with Hargreaves building. Hargreaves is where we keep a lot of our music education classes, our theory classes, our group piano, and our music history. This is our academic building. The next stop on our trip is the Coke Lobby. The Coke Lobby is where a lot of students like to congregate before class, after class, meeting for ensembles, meeting for study groups, or if you're just hungry or thirsty, you can go ahead and get a drink. Next up is the Music Instruction Building. This is where a lot of our ensembles are going to be practicing and performing, including our orchestra, choirs, and bands. You're going to find the offices of your studio professors and a lot of students, similar to the Coke Lobby across the street. They like to come up here, relax, sit down between classes, or just study with a group. The last stop on our trip is Circe Performance Hall. While sometimes it is used as a classroom, this is where you're going to be performing your ensembles and concerts for your orchestras, choirs, and bands, and is a great place for your families to come watch you perform in person. So whether you're here for music, music education, music media production, music performance, or jazz studies, Ball State is just a fantastic place to be.
The reason that I'm here is because I've always been a Ball State girl. My parents met here and it just has a great family atmosphere. So we hope that you can join our family. Your peer. Hi, I'm Amani, a sophomore musical theater major here at Ball State University, and here we are in the main office in the Arts and Communications building. Here we can find our department chair, Bill Jenkins, and our recruitment coordinator, Andrea Sadler. Hi, enjoy your tour. Hi, my name is Kate Laughlin. I'm a senior BFA dance major, and I'm gonna be showing you around the dance studios here at Ball State. Currently, we're in Chorus Guard Dance Studio where we have dance classes, auditions, and we also have performances here as well. And we also have other dance studios that accommodate for other activities as well. Hello, I'm Nico Rowland. I'm a BFA Senior Sound Design and Technology student here at Ball State. This is our front of house position. This is where we mix musicals and run sound for all of our shows. Hi, uh, my name is Nick Maurer and I'm a senior lighting design student here at Ball State. Uh, I would like to show you our light booth. Here we have our spotlights for shows and then in here we have our light board room as well as our stage management call area. Welcome to the sound studio space. This is where we do our recordings and do a lot of the editing for effects for shows. Hello, my name is Edgar de Santiago. I am a senior acting major, and I also work in the scene shop. That is recently organized uh, lighting area, and this is where all the magic happens in creating all of our sets for university theater and struck, and sometimes cave. Hi guys, I'm Gia. I am a senior hair and makeup designer here at Ball State, and today I'm going to show you around our makeup shop and our costume shop. And this is where we do all of our stage makeup classes, as well as any of our prosthetics classes, and this is also where all of our actors will get ready before the shows. Alright, so now we have made it over to our costume shop, and this is where we do all of our costume construction classes, as well as where they uh, make all of the costumes for our shows. Hi there, welcome to our university stage. My name is Laura Pearson, I'm a senior stage manager here. Um, this is our main stage area. We have about 400 seats in this audience. You'll see that we have a, a lot of taping down and our Marley, and as well as some mirrors in the back. Um, over to stage right, you'll see that we have our fly rail. Um, that's where any of our curtains or projection screens or anything that hangs down from the top as the scenic set comes in. We've done many big shows in this space. This is where most of our musicals are. Um, anything from Crazy For You, which we were doing this past spring, um, we also have uh, Little Night Music. We also do large scale uh, plays in here as well. Hi, I'm Carmia Lowe and I'm a junior acting major. And I'm David Hurt and I'm a senior musical theater major. And this is Oakwood Rehearsal Hall. Yeah. So this is our large rehearsal space over in Oakwood. And here is where we rehearse for all the shows that'll be in university theater. We also have classes currently in here because of its large space so we can stay away from each other for COVID. more than 1,000 works of art on display and 11,000 in our collection, the David Owsley Museum of Art is a rich resource to supplement any class subject or interest. There is no admission fee and the museum, known as DOMA, is open to anyone who would like to visit. DOMA cultivates lifelong learning and recreation in the visual arts through its collection, engaging exhibitions, and educational programs for the university community and other diverse audiences. The collection includes works of art from six continents representing 5,000 years of civilization and is arranged across curatorial areas such as ancient, African, Asian, Oceanic, American, European, and modern and contemporary art. To achieve DOMA's mission to be an educational resource, we offer tours, lectures, events, materials for teachers, an education database, artist demonstrations, virtual resources, and more. Whether you use DOMA as a quiet escape from your studies, as a resource to enhance your experience, or in other ways, we hope to see you at the David Owsley Museum of Art on the Ball State campus. <laughs>